The city of Greenville is responding to a lawsuit filed by a former ECU football player claiming excessive force by multiple police officers. News Channel 12's Chris Young reviewed the city's answers to the complaint filed in court today. He joins us live from Greenville with their response. Chris. Well, Tyler, we received an 18 page document filed by the city responding to each of Demarcus Fox's claims. The city denied most of the claims and asked a judge to dismiss the lawsuit. Just a few moments ago, I spoke with Fox's attorney, Brandon Atwater. This 18 page federal court filing reveals 167 answers from the city of Greenville regarding a lawsuit filed by former ECU football player Demarcus Fox. Fox filed the lawsuit in August against the city and five Greenville police officers. Fox claims the officers violated constitutional rights and used excessive force in a traffic stop on Fairwood Lane in October of 2022. Civil rights attorney Brandon Atwater is representing Fox. You know, his hands were clearly up. He had communicated his intent to comply. Um, there were all, multiple officers present, their guns were drawn. The city admits to 28 of the 167 claims made by Fox. It includes one claim of his hair being pulled while he was removed from his vehicle. Another was that two officers did not turn on their body cams prior to the incident. A portion of the encounter was captured on video from an eyewitness. Atwater tells me the video helped prove these claims. The city states the filing, the defendants, the five officers were acting within the course and scope of their employment and within the authority of a sworn law enforcement officer with the Greenville Police Department at all times during the incident involving Fox. The city also claims Fox failed to stop for officers, failed to comply with the officers' lawful commands, and physically resisted officers. We want to continue to litigate that matter, um, and, but my client ultimately feels that justice will prevail and that the city and the officers will be held accountable. In the filing, the city states the officers are barred by public official immunity. Atwater tells me they will continue to pursue a trial no matter how long it takes. This thing may take two years, may take longer. Yeah, and so, and we're prepared to do that. He's resolved to do whatever's necessary. We still don't know why officers initiated the traffic stop, but in a release made by the city of Greenville, they say they take public safety very seriously. Live in Greenville, I'm Chris Young with News Channel 12.